this place gave me an opportunity to influence the politics of this country. At the beginning, I was a fearful provost. I didn't know whether I should talk about, about politics. But the words of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 7, kept talking to me. I have heard the cry of my people. And brothers and sisters, when the cry of God reaches, the, the cry of God's people reaches God's heart, the church can never be quiet. I don't know which Bible's pastors read. The Bible talks about politics and governance at the heart and core of the gospel of Jesus Christ was about liberation of people, setting them free. When you meet the poor and they don't have the food, ask yourself who is responsible and why can they feed these people? Don't accept just to be Christians going to heaven and leaving this world a worst place. As your provost, I don't believe in such a theology. I believe in John 10.10. 10, I have come that you may have life and have it in abundance. And so the church must be involved in setting free people from the shackles that continue to bind them. And any pastor must continually do that. Don't just preach a gospel that entices people.